Well, Scott, thank you very much for coming out from Washington, coming to our facility right here and uh, taking a tour and uh, helping me with this whole project right here to educate Americans on manufacturing. People are drawn to this story because it is a story of hope. It's a story of resurgence, and I'm really glad it's being told. I'm happy to be a part of it. Shops like yours, on a level playing field, can compete with anyone, anywhere. And all they needed was a chance. The problem that we have is that a lot of politicians simply like wrote it off and said, let's do services, let's do Wall Street. Other people can manufacture. That's just not fair, it's not right. It would make our country weaker. And I'm glad that you are showing them it's possible to succeed and to be on the cutting edge. Other countries have learned from us, and now they are playing by the rules that we used to play by. They're being really strict. They're putting taxes on our goods coming into the country. You know, they're doing all the things that we used to do, and there's just a shift where all the work starts going over there. But we can bring it back, right? Not only can we bring it back, we can make it better than ever if guys like you are given a fair shot. And it's not rocket science, and it's not about putting a wall up around America. It's about putting into place the conditions that allow you to succeed and to compete when there's a level playing field. And that means dealing with trade policy, means making sure you have a workforce that is trained and ready to go and well-educated. It makes sure that tax policy is fair because manufacturing, unlike almost any other activity in the United States, can be done from anywhere in the world. And you know, if you go to a hospital, you're gonna to go to a hospital here. If you're gonna buy a burger, you're gonna buy a burger here. If you're gonna bank somewhere, you're gonna bank at the bank around the corner and you may have a choice. But manufacturing, as you know, it can be done anywhere in the world. So we have to make sure that we have the policies that allow manufacturing to innovate, to attract a skilled workforce, and to compete on a level playing field. We need a government that's gonna to say to China, manage your currency policy properly, enforce your environmental laws, don't throw money at your companies uh, where we have private sector guys like you, no one's throwing money at you. Uh, and, and I think on a level playing field, you're gonna win. Well, we're showing that we can compete right here on national TV, and there's a huge amount of companies just like mine all across the nation with great machinists, great manufacturers, all building products. And if our government actually got behind us and lifted us up and put rules in place, we're gonna soar right into the future. That's the voice we carry to Washington every day. Uh, and it's not about Democrats, Republicans, people from California or from Florida. It's about Americans standing up for our economy. And in addition to holding our politicians accountable, there's something that every citizen can do every day and that is pretty simple, buy American. It's not possible all the time, but if you actually look at the label, make a conscious decision to search it out, you're gonna be able to do more, and we know that if Americans buy more American-made products, we're gonna put hundreds of thousands of more people to work in our own country. You know, Scott, that's a great point, and that is literally the reason why we made this TV show. We wanted to show the industry, we wanted people to be able to look into the industry and see there's real workers making American products all over this great nation. There's so many different things just in this one TV show, and we're just one company. But that is American manufacturing. And it is like a breath of fresh air, because over the past couple of decades, as you know, Titan, we've seen more than five million manufacturing jobs. One out of every three disappear in this country and we've seen a lot of people give up on it but what i've seen on your shop floor is a lot of hope and so if there's a message out there it's that for kids there are going to be opportunities in manufacturing in fact there's going to be millions of opportunities and these are good jobs uh, and you're working with your hands as well as with your mind uh, you're making our country a better place and there's a tremendous amount of job satisfaction so i hope that your viewers will consider whether it's a right choice for their kid to get into manufacturing. What about the government? The elections are coming up. There's some, a lot of candidates that say they're gonna bring back manufacturing. I've heard a lot of talk. 
I don't see a lot of action. What would you say to the government? What is the exact ingredients to fix this country so that we can have a prosperous tomorrow? Well, I don't have to tell you, Titan, that when it gets closer to election season, those politicians love to wrap themselves in the flag, throw on a hard hat, and say they're all about made in America. But it's what they do that really makes a difference. And that's where I think uh, viewers and supporters uh, can really have an impact here. Can connect with us on Facebook, on Twitter, on our webpage, learn the facts about manufacturing in every state across the country, and then encourage the elected officials to support pro-manufacturing policies a level playing field on trade, investing in our workforce, rebuilding our crumbling infrastructure, and using American-made products, iron and steel, to do that. If we do those things, again, that's not rocket science. We can help to create millions of new manufacturing jobs right here at home. I'm excited about it. I got hope for the future. We got Scott Paul from the Alliance of American Manufacturing. This show is about having passion for this country, and not just talking about it, but actually doing something to make a difference. If you guys wanna learn more about our show, you can look at our website. If you wanna learn more about the organization that Scott Paul's with, the Alliance for American Manufacturing, you can find it at AmericanManufacturing.org. And together, we can keep it made in America. Keep it American built. Thank all right. you so much. Thanks, Titan. Thanks awesome. for all you do.